welcome to Ulverston in Cumbria. No visit to Ulverston can start without a visit to Argyle Street. It was here at number 3 in 1890 that one Arthur Stanley Jefferson was born, who was later to become better known as Stan Laurel of Laurel and Hardy fame. At the time Ulverston was part of Lancashire, becoming part of Cumbria in 1974. There's actually a local pub named after him, and in the town centre even a florist has taken the name Floral and Hardy. Ulverston's history dates as far back as 430 AD. The town is mentioned in Doomsday Book of 1086. In September 1280, King Edward I granted the town a market charter. Today, Ulverston is a thriving town and is popular with tourists from around the world. The town has many bars, pubs and restaurants, so you won't go hungry or thirsty. Ulverston Canal was begun in 1793 and opened in 1796. Running just to the west side of the town, it ran to the sea, allowing Ulverston to prosper on trade with the Americas and the Caribbean. The canal is one and a half miles long. It was in use right up until 1945 when it was finally abandoned. In 1948, the sea lock was encased in concrete permanently cutting it off from the sea. Overstead Canal holds a secret. Goods from the Americas and Caribbean weren't always sold in the traditional way. They were actually traded for goods from Overstead 
but also slaves from Africa. The Sir John Barrow Monument was erected in 1850 to honour Sir John Barrow, a local admiral with the Royal Navy. It sits on the hood, which is an hill, overlooking Ulverston, Morecambe Bay and the Lake District National Park. Its design was inspired by the Eddystone Lighthouse, though the monument itself was never used or intended to be used as a lighthouse.
If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It does help my channel to grow. And thanks for watching.